We're gonna auger the hole. You can see it's perfectly centered. But the edge is up here, it's sharp. And they're sharp here too, and if you try to run it on the slider, you'll hear a click click. That's because the edge on the underside of the hole is catching that. So that needs to be smoothed out. And the way to do that is to use what's called a Dremel. I'll show you how that operation is done. So we're complete with this drilling. like to keep my work area clean, so I'm just going to clean this real quick so that everything is neat. It's not a normal vacuum, it's a HEPA vacuum, which meets a very high standard for removing particulates. And that's the shape I'll be using. This is done by hand again. In this case, I want the sensitivity of the gloves. You gotta be careful, you do that one wrong, and you really mess up the underside of that slider. Now I need to find out if this is comfortable to the tongue. So I test it. Bring this up. final treatment of the underside of the slider. 
there's no more cover on the mouthpiece now, sanding it right in. There's no, uh, there's no slide in here, so it's hitting two notes at all times. Comfy. Totally silent operation. Okay. Now. This is an older piece of sandpaper. And I think this will be good. Very, very gentle paper, not much grab. And see that the underside of a slider is like a mirror, and it has to be totally flat. This will need to cure for two days. This all this grinding and stuff changes the relationship of the molecules to each other and it might bend out of shape a little bit so it gets a two day rest. That completes that. One more tool goes here. One more clean up. Very time consuming to make these. And you have to be willing to be flexible and change. And by that I mean, you know, as you feel it and you don't like what's going on, you gotta redo it. And keep on redoing it. Keep on redoing it until it feels correct. Smoothing of that hole takes a while. It's a beautiful slider. <laughs>